Hello, Roboteers! Welcome to the Robotics Parlor. I'm Zofia, and we'll be covering news on sensors, robotics, and advanced manufacturing. Our first news story is regarding graphene and 3D printing. For those of you unfamiliar with graphene, it is a two-dimensional lattice made out of carbon atoms, meaning it is like a piece of paper that's only an atom thick. Graphene has a lot of exceptional properties, especially its thermal and electrical conductivity. The problem with it is, is there's not a good way of manufacturing it, even though its properties could lead it to revolutionize the electronics industry. A team from the Imperial College of London and University of Warwick have developed a graphene-based ink. This ink is made out of water, graphene oxide, and a polymer. It can be used to print tiny nanostructures, and there's hope that these nanostructures will be able to be used for robotic skins, as well as membranes for cleaning up oil spills. There's a lot of potential for this technology, and they're working on commercializing it. This week at the Association of Advanced Science meeting, Eric Tremblay from EPFL Switzerland presented contact lenses which can magnify the wearer's vision. And the way they work is they're worn in tandem with glasses, and the glasses have polarization. If the user winks one eye, it polarizes in one way, and if they wink the other eye, it polarizes in the other way. These changes in polarization match the contact lenses, and one polarization in the contact lenses will show a magnified vision at 2.8%, and then the other one shows normal vision. This invention can really help people with certain medical conditions and will be a lot better than what's currently on the market, which are glasses, which can do the same thing, but are much bulkier. And last but not least, our news in robotics. This week, the DECA arm was used by an army veteran to go rock climbing. The DECA arm is used for upper extremity loss and take signals from the shoulder and whatever is left of the arm as well as sensors on the feet in order to have articulated fingers and joints as well as having control over the pressure. This allows users to be able to do things such as zip a zipper or drink from a water bottle which is nearly impossible with many of the other prosthetics out there today. This week they had a big achievement when a veteran used this arm to go rock climbing and while he wasn't able to do it as fast as before, he could definitely do it as effectively. So thank you for joining me uh, and have a roboterific day! And thank you to our sponsors at MN Drive for helping us start this project.